Hey there everybody, my name is Joyce Mwandi Waihiga and here on Sitam Church Online, I've been doing a series on the armor of God. So far, we've looked at why we need to prepare in the first place. And then we've spent the last two weeks going over the first two pieces of armor uh, that God provides for us. And that is the belt of truth and the breastplate of righteousness. Today, we're going to be looking at the third piece the shoes fitted with the gospel of peace mentioned in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 15. Let's get started. Now, proper footwear makes a huge difference. We can agree that it would be absolutely crazy and uh, ineffective for a farmer to go and till the land in heels, much like the ones I'm wearing today. Or for a football player to try and score the winning goal when he's wearing gumboots, right? It just does not work. Proper footwear also made a huge difference with the Roman soldiers. So much so that they actually had special shoes for battle. On the one hand, they needed shoes that would protect their feet from sharp sticks that their enemies would sort of lay in the ground and bury in the ground, much like landmines. So anytime they would step on them, they would be seriously pricked and that could be a possibility for them to become seriously disabled. But on the other hand, the Roman soldiers used to put nails through their shoes so that they could have solid footing and not be easily pushed away during battle. Think of it like golf cleats or football cleats okay so that they could really hold on to the ground so one was for protection but the other was to be able to stand firm in battle both of these purposes apply to us today in the sense of standing firm against the enemy defending ourselves and Christ's church against the schemes of Satan now it's definitely ironic that the gospel of peace aka the gospel of Jesus Christ, enables us to wage war successfully. Charles Spurgeon is quoted as saying, the church of Christ is continually presented under the figure of an army, yet its captain is the prince of peace. Its object is the establishment of peace and its soldiers are men of peaceful disposition. The spirit of war is at extreme opposite at the extreme opposite point to the spirit of the gospel. Then he continues to say that the spotless purity of truth must always be at war with the blackness of heresy and lies. Sadly, there are many lies around us today concerning our faith and concerning the kingdom of God. These include that we can live however we feel like um, as long as we believe that God and Jesus Christ exist. Or the notion that being a good person and doing good things is what is going to get us into heaven. Or the prosperity gospel and the false idea that we're not going to face any trouble in this earth. Ashida, you know, then it means you've sinned and that, you know, as believers, we should not undergo any suffering. Um, Perhaps that's why we see so many of us here in Kenya and around the world being carried away with every sort of wind that just comes with, you know, new doctrines and false doctrines. Lots of people being deceived by the cunningness of the devil. And so it's absolutely critical for us to have a very sure and solid footing. Yet many people, so many of us are so wishy washy today you don't know where they stand they're neither here nor there we live in an age of political correctness so many of us are scared to have a firm standing on key issues affecting our generations because of how people we will perceive us or because we're scared of losing an opportunity look the adage remains if you don't stand for something you will fall for anything and to me, that just reminds me of those nails through those Roman soldiers' shoes. 
that they were standing for something. If you don't, you will easily be swept away. The gospel of peace, the gospel of Jesus Christ is what anchors our faith here in this world. When we live and act outside of what is prescribed in the word of God, we will easily find our foundation slipping. We need to have a sure footing in our battle with the enemy. We need to have our feet covered with the gospel of peace. And it's important that we are standing on the firm foundation that is Jesus Christ and the gospel that he has shared with us. This means, number one, that we believe that Jesus Christ died and that he rose again on the third day and through him, our sins are forgiven. It also means that we are growing in our relationship with Christ and in likeness to him. And the way that we do that is by studying and applying his word. That is the only way we're going to be able to stand firm in this unstable world. So are you standing firm? Will your spiritual shoes carry you through battle? Or are you going to be one of the ones that is easily swept away? Are your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace? I certainly hope mine are. Thank you for watching this episode and be sure to give us your feedback and your comments on our social media platforms across Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel as well for even more episodes. Join me again next week as we continue with this series on the armor of God and I look forward to engaging with you then. God bless.